morning, TTC fans. So I just checked in to the hospital. Um, today's Friday. I don't know the day I posted up here, but I'm here for my vaginal ultrasound. Um, so let's go and do this. Hi, ladies. So I'm here for an ultrasound today, and I'll explain to you ladies what's going on. Um, I'm not going to be able to record, and they're really, really busy today. So um, I have to get undressed right now. But just to let you ladies know, it has been one heck of a ride after the first shot of Avadrill. And um, I'm kind of glad I'm here because I've been in pain. And like I said, I'll explain to y'all later why because I can't record right now. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, so, hi ladies. So, I'm actually here. I'm just, I came in the restroom really quick because I knew that I was really hurt by the information I just got. Um, so, we just found out that it was a cyst. I have a huge cyst on my right ovary. Um, so... I'm gonna have to sit the cycle out per the doctor, so they are not going to prescribe me um, any albuterol or anything right now. They have to have the doctor take a look at it, and the nurse says she will call me back later on today. You guys, I started this cycle um, two days before Thanksgiving, so that Tuesday, and so I started taking Letrozole, 7.5 milligrams, because we went up this um, cycle, and I started taking it the third day was on Thanksgiving, and after Thanksgiving, usually my cycle goes off probably about that Sunday or that Monday. I should like Monday. I should have definitely been off, or you know, or or went off that Monday. But I actually experienced it going. You ladies know when your cycle is in and it gets a little brown, um, and then it just goes away. Well, mine went brown and then it went back to a little bit of blood, which is like purplish, not fresh, bright red blood, like purplish blood a little bit, and. Then it went over to the brown, but then it never went away. Even till today, it still hasn't gone away. And I was in excruciating pain for like three days solid, like on my right side. Like it hurt really, really, really bad. So I knew something was wrong in my mind, but I just thought maybe it was the effects of the Avadrill shot because I've never had it before. But um, I'm definitely devastated. This is new news to me, and which is why I haven't posted lately because I've been trying to like take everything in me and Larry because this is a very, very important journey for us. It's very emotional. And now you guys can see why it takes me time to like upload videos because I have to make sure that my emotions and everything are in order to come and deliver a message to you guys, um, especially for the ones who are faithful and following me through this TTC journey. So... I'm gonna go downstairs right now. Babe is waiting for me in the car. And um, I really don't want to cry for him because I feel like every time I get bad news, I just cry. And he doesn't know like what to do because you know, he, he if for him, everything is so positive. Like it's okay, it's gonna happen. Let's just do this and do that. But for me, it's kind of like, here we go again. You know, um, this is gonna take so much time and I'm gonna have to keep coming back to the doctor and I have to sit this month out. I'm getting older and I just feel like time is literally just dwindling down for me and I'm very hurt and I'm very exhausted now and I've only been doing this for two years TTCing you know with the RE or OBGYN and I feel kind of selfish because I know there's a lot of ladies out there who've been trying for 10 years 14 years or someone who can't even have kids or the thought of it so I try not to be selfish but I'm human and it still hurts so yes ladies um I don't know. I mean, I guess we will just wait for the call from the doctor and see what happens, see what he says. Um, I know the nurse didn't inform me that he's going to wait for a little bit probably and see if the cyst goes away, goes away on its own. And if it does not, then he's going to go in and get the fluid. So, yeah. And I don't even know how that feels because I've never had a cyst. I had a polyp removal, if you guys remember, um, where my doctor removed it. Um, but and it was like I told you guys it was like less than an inch so if you guys haven't watched that video go watch my HSG video um, when I got that procedure done and then after I had my polyp removal but yes ladies so I don't know I'll keep you guys updated it hasn't been that much going on um, I just been in pain and from the last time that I was recording with the Avadrill shot after it had ended I was still testing and getting light positives but I think that was just from the hormone being left over in my system so I got a positive all the way up into 18 days after the shot so I'm not too excited to go back to the shop because, like I said, it can give you that false positive even after the time you're supposed to test and it's supposed to be a real positive. So, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of like hurt and I'm just hurt, y'all. Like, I, I really am hurt.
I thought I was gonna have so much to say to y'all in this vlog, but I really don't have anything to say because I wasn't expecting that news. Like, not a sis, that was the last thing on my mind. Um, but I'm gonna go to the car and um, see y'all in a minute.